Guy Martin is learning to jump motorbikes with the aim of attempting one of the most famous film stunts of all time. And he's now decided to build a practice jump in his back garden. You need to practice all the time for you. That's what we did, we built one here. Built one of mine. <laughs> At the takeoff here, this will be your main kind of jump. Stunt coordinator Andy Godbold has come along to oversee the build. There's my house, and we just built a run up to the top. We've tried to make the most of the space that we've got. Yeah, so I've had the dump for a bit. We've probably shifted 40 ton, 50 ton, maybe. As work continues on redesigning his garden, Guy breaks off for a snack and the chance to learn a bit about the diet in prisoner of war camps, like Stalaglyph 3. First arriving camp, this is what the German guards gave you. Bread and margarine. And they used to bulk it up with sawdust. And then acorn coffee. Acorn coffee, yeah. Yeah, they couldn't get hold of coffee. Got a bit of an acquired taste, that, hasn't it? Hot meals came in the form of offal stew. I'm going to try a bit of this. What have we got? Cabbage, potato and a bit of offal. What's that look like? A bit of aorta. That's all right, huh? Problem was, the food provided by the Germans didn't have enough calories. It's a bit hot, mate. It's a bit hot. But the POWs did get Red Cross parcels. But this was all on top of your calorie intake that you was getting from the guards. Each prisoner was meant to get one of these every two weeks. 20 million boxes were handed out over the Second World War. And what have we got here? Or clim. What would we call that? Powdered milk. Dark chocolate. Fine granulated sugar. Processed cheese. Apple pudding. Nice. Margarine. What the bloody hell's margarine? Is that margarine? Is that how you spell it? I've got you on there, on it. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> the most important part of the Red Cross parcels was the Klim milk tins. Yeah, right, Andy, for the Great Escape, because it was used for all sorts. Used for wheels on trolleys and scoops for scooping the muck out of your tunnels. And then you could strap a load together and use them as ventilation piping to get fresh air into the tunnels. Yes, yeah, so the Great Escape, sponsored by Klim. <laughs> 